Welcome to Mr. Math Academy. Grow your math brain. Hello friends, welcome back to Mr. Math Academy. So today in this video we solve the, the simple numerical which is based on the bell drive here. In the previous video we have done the, uh, the derivation of a open bell drive and the cross bell drive here. Now we just move on to the, the numericals here, so which are important here. Now in this problem he has given, the driven pull is given. So in this, the, this driven pulley which runs at a speed of a 200 rpm and as well as he has given that, uh, he has given the diameter of that the driven pulley is, it is around 400 mm is given and at the same time you can just see here, so since it the bell drive is connected here, the bell drive and the pulley here which is having a coefficient of friction because the coefficient of friction between this pulley as well as, as well as the belt here, he has given it is a 0.25 that is the mu that I can take here. Now again, when the belt is in contact with this driven pulley which makes an angle of 165 is given. So that is nothing but he has given the angle of flap he has given that is the 165 degrees and he has given the initial tension in the belt should not exceed the 10 kilo Newton here. So initial tension in the belt means before transmitting the power, if you just place the belt on the driver as well as the driven pulleys here, so it exerts some of the some amount of the belt like a tension here that is called as the initial tension in the belt here. Now that should not be exceed our 10 kilo Newton here. Okay. Now we we have to find out because the initial tension is given by the formula T naught is equal to T one plus T two by two. Okay, like we just find out later here. Now, now this is the given problem here and now we have taken the data here in detail that is the diameter of the driven pulley is D2 I can represent which is given in terms of a mm is given 400. Now I have just taken in terms of the meter that is a point, point 0.4 meter. Similarly, the speed is given 200 rpm. So angle of lap is 165 degrees given but I will just take in terms of the radius. So I have multiplied pi by 180. So we just, we just get the 2.87 newt 9 new radius here. Now this is a coefficient of friction between the belt as well as the pulley 0.25. Now this is our initial tension in the belt, it is a 10 kilo Newton, it should be the maximum here. Now these are the given data here. Now we just move on to the, what we have to find out here is, so we need to find out the what is the power which is transmitted by this belt drive system here. So we need to find out what is the power here. So I will just go for the solution. I need to find out the power which is given by. T1 minus T2 into V by 1000 which gives the value in terms of the kilowatt where in this formula the T1 gives the maximum tension that is a tight side tension and T2 gives the it is a slack side tension at the minimum tension here. Okay. Now V indicates it is a linear velocity of this bell drive here. Now we have to find out what is the V T1 T2 as well here. So we can find out this V where V is nothing but I can just take pi d n by 60 here. So this gives your velocity, this is the linear velocity that I need to find out here. So here I can take this is a pi d n by 60. So if we are uh, if he has given in the problem like a driver also given if he has given means driven is also given then we can just take so this is the d1 n1 that is uh, for a driver member or we can take pi d2 n2 that is for the driven member. So but in this problem he has given only a, the data for the driven member. So directly we just take this is a pi d2 n2 here. Now we just try to calculate this what is the linear velocity. So this is pi and d we have to substitute in terms of the meter here. So this is 0.4 meter. So this is 200 rpm is given and this is our 60. So we just calculate this velocity that is a linear velocity in terms of meter per second. The value what I am getting here is it is a 4.188, 4.188 meter per second. Okay. Now this value I will try to substitute in this equation here. Therefore P becomes T1 minus T2 into 4.188 by 1000. Okay. Now, so from this, if I just calculate what is the T1, okay, let it be. So because I need to find out what is the P, what is T1, T2, all these things are unknown here. 
but I can calculate what is the T1 and T2. That is why he has given some relation is given. So, we know that. So, T0 is given that is the initial tension in the belt which is given by T1 plus T2 by 2 that is the initial tension in the belt. So, it should not exceed 10 kilo Newton means I will just take this is 10 into 10 power 3 that is equal to T1 plus T2 by 2. Now, I just cross multiply here so that I can get T1 plus T2 is equal to 20 into 10 power 3. Now, I will just take this as some equation 1. Now, again he has given the coefficient of friction is given and the angle of the lap is given. So, by using this I can calculate what is the T1 and T2 relation here because I know the because I know the ratio of tension in the belt. So, we, we know that again the ratio of tensions in belt is given by so it is a T1 by T2 that is equal to E power mu theta where mu indicates it is a coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley here and this theta, uh, theta is nothing but the angle of lap. So, but it should be in terms of the radiance here. So, I will just take so this is E power mu is nothing but it is a 0.25. So, theta is we have calculated because 165 degree is given. So, we have taken in terms of the radiance. So, which gives the radiance is in terms of we are getting the radiance is 2.879 by T2 is equal to some 2.054 here. Now, I just cross multiply here. So, this T1 becomes 2.054 t2 now if i take this is the equation 2 here now i can substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 i'll just take here substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so that i can get some unknown term here in place of t1 i can have a 2.054 t2 i'll just substitute the remaining t2 i'll just keep as it is here so, that is equal to 20 into 10 power 3. Now, from this it is a 3.05432 which gives 20 into 10 power 3. So, from that easily I can calculate what is our T2 in terms of. So, the value what I am getting here is it is a 6548.7, 6548.7 Newton. Therefore, this T1 becomes we just take this value somewhere here so that I can get the value of T1 here in terms of the Newton the value is 13451.2 Newton ok. Now, this is the tight side tension and the slack side tension by using this relation we have calculated. Now, easily we can just substitute in this formula like T1 minus T2 because we know linear velocity we know we know the we have just calculated the T1 and T2 we just substitute this the terms in this formula easily we can calculate what is the power which is transmitted by this belt drive here. Therefore, P becomes T1 is oh. this P becomes T1 I have just substituted the values and again the T2 becomes 6548.7 and the linear velocity becomes it is a given the 4 we have calculated 4.188 meter per second I will just take here now which is divided by 1000 here. Now, we just simplify this so that we can get the required power which is transmitted by this belt in the form of a kilowatt here. Now, the total power what we have transmitted here is it is a 28.91 kilowatt. So, now this is how we can able to calculate the what is the power which is transmitted by this belt. So, when some the driven member is rotating at a 200 rpm and the angle of lap is 165 degrees given and the coefficient of friction is 0.25 is given as well as the diameter is some 400 mm is given. So, that we can able to transmit the power is 28.91 kilowatt. Now